stretch my back and legs Well now what did the younger me become I make some coffee and a plan the night beside on those and eggs Hello and welcome here after kids. This is part two of Belize. If you haven't seen it already, I highly encourage you to go back and watch part one. It explains how we got here, it explains what we're doing here, and it has some incredible, incredible things we've already done here. But we were just about three miles south of a small little village called Hopkins, which is pretty much on the south end of the, the country, and, and we are here for our 34th anniversary. And it's been spectacular to say the least. This is day four and we're headed to the Mayan temples and then to the Jaguar cave to get in some inner tubes and float through the cave. So man, today is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be long. It's about 5.30 a.m. right now and we're getting ready to have some breakfast and we're gonna get in a van. We're gonna drive the two and a half hours out to the temples and then, then it's not gonna be till like 5.30, 6 o'clock p.m. when we get back here. We're staying at a little place called Beaches and Dream. It's a very small resort with only six bungalows and six rooms in the main house. So the crowds are very, very low here. But again, to get the full effect, you really gotta go back and watch <laughs> part one if you haven't already. But saying all that, we're gonna go in and get some breakfast real quick and get in the van and hit the road. It's gonna be a long drive, but it's sure gonna be worth it. I haven't seen one bad thing here yet. My goodness. What in the world I get myself into?
absolutely no safety here. And my fear of heights is really coming out right now. There's no railing, there's no nothing. This is freaking incredible. All right, so check this out. Right there, that's Guatemala. I mean, who would have ever thunk that? <laughs> Most common ones are in the fruit bats and insect bats. Mm -hmm. The largest one is the false one. It's considered to be the image of the sun. Well, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to do was come to some of these Mayan or Aztec ruins and read about it. It's just, it's really breathtaking to say the least. You know, this is one of the last remaining places that you can actually climb on the structure. It's, it's really cool. Well, that's it for here. We're gonna head to lunch and we're gonna go see how high the rivers are to see if we can float through the caves. We'll see how that goes. Plazas, this goes as far as uh, Plaza F uh, over here. But uh, we. All right, so here's the deal. With all the rain that we've had, the caves were flooded and we couldn't go cave tubing, which was okay. So we went to that other Mayan ruins that I showed you. And then on the way back, we stopped by at some Mennonite ice cream shop. Golly, man, that coconut ice cream with that handmade waffle cone was just amazing. But we're back here at the resort right now and sun shining, beautiful. I think we're gonna rest up the rest of the evening. I mean, that was pretty intense, you know, climbing those steps and hearing the history and all that, of what the Mayan did back then, it was, it was really cool. And then when it came that storm, you know, we took shelter in one of the, the ancient bedrooms they had there, and that was really neat. But yeah, wow, what an experience, man. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, so. But other than that, I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a little while and edit some videos next to the ocean.
I mean, wow. morning. It's day five of here in paradise. And today is going to be the best one yet because I'll walk right out here. I get on that boat and I go fly fishing out in the ocean. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how calm that is. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see it over here. Hold on. There's a heck of a storm back over that way. That's gonna be, uh, that may be problematic. I plan on getting wet anyway, so I don't really care. My goodness. Anyway, hop in the boat, come go with me. All right, so here's the deal. It is not fly fishing, like I thought I bought. It's reef fishing. <sighs> you know, but that's okay. I'll take it. He said that the fly fishing was a lot more expensive and you know, been, I booked this over a year ago. That's probably, I saw that and I probably said absolutely not. And that's probably why we we're sitting here today thinking I did do fly fishing and we're actually doing reef fishing, but so we're gonna be doing a lot of trolling and a lot of uh, just using the, the spinner rods and stuff. And Well, at least I won't make a fool out of myself today. You know, I would told them that I was gonna be their entertainment watching me fly fish, so I'm okay with this. So lunch yesterday didn't sit well with her and she stayed up all night hugging the toilet. So she's not going with me this morning. Instead, I bought her a massage at 10 o'clock out here on the dock. So we'll see how that goes. So it's just me in this big boat. That's not too bad. They didn't make any money today, that's for sure, if it's just me. Compared to fly fishing, all you gotta do is sit there, hold the rod, keep the tip down, wait till you get a hit. You get a hit, let it run for about five seconds, then you lift it up and start reeling, all right? Welcome to Belize, buddy.
Man, I tell you what, we got into a school of mahi-mahi and I didn't have time to grab the camera, so hopefully I grabbed a couple of shots for you, but the God said that he's been doing this for 15 years and never seen nothing like it. And you talk about wearing a person out. I mean, we were catching some of the big ones and golly, the fight, man, is just incredible. I ain't ever caught that many fish at one time, I can tell you. <laughs> Whew, I am wore out. What a shame, right? What a bad, bad thing to happen. <laughs> we're sitting on some island out here in the middle of the ocean and golly, it's the Smithsonian Institute. There's a bunch of scientists here and uh, I don't know. I could stay here for a while. Unfortunately, we're fixing to get in the boat and head back. Wow. Good morning, it's Thursday, day six of me and her in Belize. And what a beautiful morning it is. This is our rest day. We don't have anything planned for today. We've done all the excursions that we had planned and so far so good, everything's amazing. First off, I wanna apologize for how abruptly the day ended yesterday for you. It did for me as well. I and mean, I was wore out and all we did was just have dinner and go to bed early. Now the idea was this morning was to get on a paddle board. I've never been on one of them before and I wanted to go give it a shot and give you some entertainment of a fat guy falling off a paddle board all morning. But we had uh, winds and storms last night, so it was really rough. And for being my first time, I didn't want to get out there on three foot swells and try to stand up. It just wasn't gonna happen. More like a surfboard, what that would have been. But I should have brought you along last night. We had dinner, you know, all that mahi-mahi that I caught. It was the fresh catch of the day for the whole restaurant here. And it was awesome. I mean, they did it in three different ways. They brought me out sashimi. So we ate some of that. And then they brought it out black and grilled and encrusted. And I'm telling you, I've never had anything that tastes like that before. And that was just it was amazing. Everybody in the restaurant kept coming by and they were thanking me for catching it and all that. And I didn't do any of the work. No, the guides did. I mean, it was, <laughs> you saw that on the video. I, all I did was just sit there and pull them in. That was, that was truly cool. I really enjoyed it. But we're not supposed to do anything today except for just sit here and do nothing. So I can't do that. So I think we're gonna rent a golf cart and go into town, look at some local cult culture, go to a couple of gift shops, 
support the local economy, things like that. I don't really have anything else planned. So I just sit here and just relax and watch the ocean. I know, what a horrible thing, right? I'll try to remember to bring you along today because I forgot last night. So I know you get wrapped up in vacation mode and it's hard to remember everything. But at least you get the gist of it. All right, we'll see what we can get into today. So that went on for the next 15 or 20 minutes. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've never tried paddle boarding, <laughs> that was fun. I think I'm gonna do it again in the morning if it's uh, if it's calm, who knows, but wow, that was a lot of fun. I only fell twice and uh, had a real good time though. That was, I've always wanted to try it, finally got her done. There's so many more I need to check off the list though. It's rocking on about noon. So we're gonna rent a golf cart, go into town, do some souvenir shopping and check out the local culture. So let's gear up, it's about to get eagle. We just had our last dinner here. It's Thursday night and we are starting to kind of preliminary pack up. We leave out of here at 11 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll still have coffee one more time. 
and watch that sunrise. Man, this has been an amazing adventure, so hang with us a little bit longer. We're almost done. Good morning, it's Friday morning. It's our last day here. As a matter of fact, we're leaving here in just uh, about three hours. And if you go back and watch part one of this, you'll see how we got here and the struggle it took. And now all you gotta do is just play that in reverse and you'll get the hint on what we gotta do on the way back. But I'm gonna tell you right now, man, it's been an amazing time. It's been an amazing adventure. I've been wanting to get here for so many years and we're finally here and we finally did it. Now I can check this one off the bucket list, that's for sure. Man, this is great. You know, me and her were raised where we didn't take vacations and we were homebodies. Uh, our parents never did anything, never went anywhere, and because it was always work. It was always the farm to take care of. We never enjoyed life, you might say. When me and her got married 34 years ago, we decided that we weren't gonna be like that. We're not gonna grow old sitting on the porch. We're gonna go out and we're gonna see life and adventures and, and do what we want to do. And so far, so good, but these big vacations like this, we don't do very often. It's just only every three to four years we try to do something and it just so happens. Now, since I have y'all with me, this is the first time y'all got to see a big vacation. So, and I hope I didn't disappoint. I hope y'all really enjoyed this because we sure have. But the place that we're at right now is called Beaches and Dreams. It's a very small little resort with only about 12 different rooms. So. The amenities they have here is just incredible. They have more staff than, than guests, so you're just treated like royalty here. So needless to say, I just highly, highly recommend this this place. And, and the good thing is we didn't get everything done. I mean, there's so much more to do. So many more excursions we could go on if we stayed another week, but we may have a second adventure. Just don't know yet. I think next year we're either gonna do Salem, Massachusetts, Niagara Falls, uh, have an idea maybe going up the peninsula up there in Washington. It's not 100% sure what we're going to do next year. Yellowstone, I mean, there's so many options in the states that you really never have to leave, but you don't see this. I mean, maybe down in the Keys you can see this, but you don't see this every day. That's, that's why we chose to come here. Other than that, that's really about all I've got. We gotta go get it all packed up and get ready to go. I gotta settle up my bill and I gotta eat some breakfast in there somewhere. Just awesome. And you know it goes true to form that no matter if you're a guest somewhere and you are getting treated like royalty, it doesn't mean you gotta act like you're a spoiled brat. They were telling me horror stories of that stuff. You know, the Karens and the Kins that come here and why? It's just not worth it. It's just so much easier to be a human being and respect one another. I said all that for you to keep in mind, just leave it better than you found it. So until then, I appreciate you hanging around. I'll see you down the road. We don't need a reason why we just can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stop time and stay in this moment, never think about Go and won't you stay with me for a little while